Oh, we saw the royal baby just one day after his birth, but now we get to see a sleepy Prince George in a newly released family photos that'll make you go, aww. <laughs> The Duke and Duchess unveiled their first family portraits since the birth of Prince George July 22nd, and they're as perfect as Kate's hair. The pictures taken by Kate's dad at the family home in Bucklebury show a relaxed couple and their sleeping son in the garden of Middleton Manor. In his first interview since the birth of the royal baby, the proud papa recalls the day the couple presented their bundle of joy to the world. Really, we were happy to show him off to whoever wanted to see him. As any new parent knows, you're only too happy to show off your, your new child and, you know, proclaim that he's the best looking or the best everything. I'm just glad he wasn't screaming his head off the whole way through. Yeah, us too. Yes, it's been tearing up Justin Timberlake's heart to see the careers of his former bandmates in the dumps, because according to reports, he's getting the old band back together. That's right, for one night only, NSYNC may reunite at the MTV VMAs. Members of the beloved boy band could join JT on stage during his scheduled performance at Brooklyn's Barclays Center. We don't know what Joey Fatone's up to, but we're pretty sure this is the best thing that's happened to him since 2010 when Family Feud let him announce the show. And to some tragic news yet again out of Hollywood, actor Lee Thompson Young has passed away and it's believed to have come at his own hands. Lee Thompson Young, who played a detective on Rizzoli and Isles, was found dead Monday at his home in L.A. Young, who originally shot to fame on Disney's The Famous Jet Jackson, was discovered after he failed to report to work in the morning. In a statement, the manager of the 29-year-old confirmed he took his own life, but it's not yet known what was troubling the star in the days leading up to his untimely death. And unfortunately, we may never know. Officials haven't been able to locate a note. A statement from a show's executive producer says in part, we are beyond heartbroken at the loss of this sweet, gentle, good-hearted, intelligent man. He was truly a member of our family. Meanwhile, Rizzoli and Isles was just renewed for a fifth season. Production of the show has been halted while cast and crew mourn. And a grisly discovery was made at a Florida home of Olivia Newton-John. A contract worker hired by the 64-year-old was found dead in an apparent suicide on Monday. Renovations were underway at the time, so the Grease star and her husband weren't home and haven't been for some time. Rosie O'Donnell was reportedly poised to purchase the Jupiter Beach home, but safe to say interest has waned since the tragedy. And as always, you can let us know what you think about today's headlines. Send us a tweet at NCity. Everybody get up. It's the song of the summer, and now Entertainment City is getting past those blurred lines. City's Dina Pugliese and Kiss 92.5's Adam Wilde get up close and personal with Robin Thicke. I know she wants it, baby. Join us as the man ruling the charts opens up about his number one album, Blurred Lines. This is icing on an already delicious cake. An exclusive Entertainment City special. Everybody get up. 